decided what I'm gonna do is just go ahead and replace the minimum on the G35 I'm just gonna replace the uh, the actual slave cylinder because for one I can get whatever use out of the clutch that I can before I put my new clutch and flywheel in and so we'll see if this is our fix for now because that, that clutch might last forever if we can just get the, the slave cylinders functioning correctly because I mean it was burning one side but it does it's not slipping or anything like that so I, that clutch might be okay for a while so I've thought about it even though I have the new clutch new flywheel and all that there's no need for it if that's the only issue is the slave cylinder we'll just replace it if it busts again we'll order one of the factory replacement ones I think that's what that calls for for that kit we're learning something here if it busts again these are just not rated enough for that all right, we've done a bun bunch of stuff today, and uh, Ronaldo's been helping me, and then I've been helping him. So what we started out is I thought my sleeve cylinder was good, and well, it blew another one out. So that's the third one, so I'm trying to figure that out. So we went ahead and changed the clutch and flywheel, inspected inside here, put my new clutch in, and so we're pretty much where we can go without getting another one. And then Ronnie brought his Beautiful 350Z. In case that looks familiar, that may or may not have been my car before. But anywho, you remember Ronald? There's Ronald. So, he still had a fuel leak. So we're just gonna change the entire tank. We've got it pretty much right there. This is the new one. We've got the whole rear subframe out. We've inspected all the bushings and stuff. We changed out the spring was bad. We took it out of the other car that I had. We changed it. Once we go back in, we may go ahead and pull the diff. Put the welded diff in if you want to. You want to do that? We might. We might. might. He's, he's still thinking about it. And he's debating on should he have bought parts. And now he's like, uh, uh, maybe a good time to put some springs on it and some subframe bushings and. Diff brace. This guy. But yeah, we're we're steady at it. I didn't film a lot of it because we we've been trying to get a lot done. I was trying to get it where I can go drifting this weekend on mine. I don't think it's gonna happen. I think we'll be able to pull his through, and I can always drive my son's or this one too. I'm sure. But we're going. We got new hoses. We did the last time we changed hoses. We put some new hoses in there and and some stuff of that nature. And so evidently we had a leak in that other one, and we don't know where it was at. So. We're just gonna leave it at that. That way, if anybody has questions, I don't know. So we don't know. Do you know? I ain't got a clue. We don't know. We're gonna act like we don't know because we do know. But regardless, it may or may not have been our fault, my fault, somebody's fault. But either way, we got another tank in it and we know why it's leaking. We don't know. Do we know? No, we don't know. We don't know. Nope. Okay. So we don't know why it was leaking. We're still completely confused at why it was leaking. But this is what we got. Pretty much just drop everything out. I think we're gonna to try to get the tank in today. He was crying about wanting to go home. But uh, I say we put it all back together tonight. <laughs> he laughs funny at me every time when I say something like that. But uh, yeah, I don't know what's going on with my car. Um, when it comes to that, I, I don't have a clue. So what's going on is, so every time I hit the clutch, it's over extending the slave cylinder so like the cylinder and the piece that pushes the the clutch arm in is completely coming way too far out well we took it all apart and it didn't look like the ball that the, the arm rides on was bad I mean we looked at it it didn't look like anything was wrong so put the new kit in it put it back and well we looked at the 350z and the arm is all the way forward with his mine is about half straight so I don't know if we missed something, I don't think we missed anything. Unless we missed something, then we missed something. I don't know. 
I don't I don't have a clue. But um I didn't have any problems with it till I put the new stuff in it. But the clutch felt kind of weak, so there might have been something wrong with it to start with. That's why I put the new stuff in it. Maybe it really just reared its head up after I put all the new stuff in it. But I don't know what's going on with it. But either way, I may not have that remedied by the weekend to drift. We're going to try to have this one done at least. And my sons is staying together. So I feel kind of like I need to get a car that'll stay together. It kind of sucks. And if that thing would have been rear wheel drive, that's what we'd be driving tomorrow or Saturday, Sunday, whatever day is. I don't know, we're going drifting at some point. Even if I gotta just go and watch and like eat barbecue chips and a chili dog and drink Dr. Peppers and watch the event, I may just go to be going. But anyway, that's what we're doing. Well, we got the air conditioner working. We got the trims everywhere in here. We just gotta go through and paint all the trim, put a few pieces of trim in. Uh, I got some weather stripping for the door. I've got it here and then some threshold to separate the rooms. Uh, may have to adjust the, the back door a little bit like it's wanting to, you can maybe see how there's light coming through it. What you do is your striker plates in here, you move them that way a little bit. And so when you close your door, it gives you a little, moves it out a little. And so that actually, so you move them that way. That'll actually tighten that door up and make your your house still a little better. Um, I put some Febreze in the air conditioning vent. So what I did, put a new register, a new cover on here. So on this deal, what I did, bought a bottle of Febreze, set it right there. And so as it draws, if there's any, ah, if there's any smell down in the trunk line, which we checked it, it wasn't dirty. The main branches, that, or the branches that come off from each room into the trunk line, those were bad. So we replaced those, all of those, I think except for one, which it wasn't bad at all. Uh, but we replaced all of them. And the trunk line looked pretty good. We just reattached the trunk line. The actual sheet metal pieces that go down in each hole where your, your register, uh, your register is your little air vent cover. So the whole sheet metal pieces that drop down where your register sit inside your each room, we tore up, took those out, replaced all those. Um, I don't really smell anything. Um, I did put the Febreze in. I don't know that we really needed it. Under the cabinets, I did catch a little bit of something when I was kind of working under there. So I, I did Febreze pretty good under the cabinets. I don't know if that'll remedy it. The water heater's in. All we gotta do is hook the water up. We have to turn the water off and take the pressure off the lines because the cold's on. Uh, a few more pieces of trim. The door, get it tightened up and sealed at the bottom, and then the front door needs sealed at the bottom. And you can see it's got a little bit of light underneath it. So we'll get us a door sweep there and finish the bathroom. We get the bathroom, the, I bought the LVT, the luxury vinyl tile. It's supposed to, oh, it goes on rough surfaces and all this stuff. It just won't stay together. It, it just falls, uh, it comes separated completely. So. I decided we'd just go pee, buy a piece of vinyl and throw in there. I hate to, and it's gonna be a ton of waste on that piece of vinyl because it measures like seven by nine overall on the, on the longest lengths, but you gotta cut out for the shower and the t or the tub piece uh, and then the vanity sill. I mean, you're pretty much gonna throw half of it away, but I think it'll lay better. I think it'll be better for the room. We can seal it better. That way we don't have water going down the outside pieces of trim. So pretty much where we're at here, painting the baseboards, getting it trimmed, a little more caulking, and finish the bathroom. Thresholds, front and back door, clean up. We're pretty much there. I mean, we're probably two days, I think, away. Um, I do need some doors. Um, I'm just gonna 
try to figure that out in the meantime. Uh, it's just a, a single man's going to rent it, so it'll be one person. So I'm going to talk to those guys and see if they're cool. If you know, take, get, give me a few days to get some doors rounded up and painted. And we can always bring the doors down and just install them in a day, versus you know hassling them, you know trying to make stuff work and all that. We'll just get a measurement on the doors, run and get a couple of doors, paint them elsewhere, bring them here. I uh, may have to touch them up if they get damaged, whatever. We can even paint them here outside and then walk right in and install them. So, um, I may do that, but I mean, overall, a little touch up. We're pretty much done with this house, and man, has it come a long way. So, we'll get, we're going to actually do a before and after kind of on this thing, so stay tuned for that. We'll get you a what what we started with kind of maybe even some in between shots and we'll do a final once we're completely cleaned out and everything's out and we'll do some final uh, walkthrough video and uh, yeah so there's just a little more caulking and some stuff but we're pretty much there so thank goodness i got a couple of registers were the wrong size i got a four by ten when we had to cut a few in for some reason I wasn't thinking, so we cut a four by 12 or two in on the, the vents. So we had to add some for the proper um, distribution, I guess would be the word for this uh, unit. It was, it's kind of oversized, so it, it called for two more vents than what was actually originally in here. So we added two more. So we had to cut the floors in and we did move a couple that were, you know, we weren't able to get to them underneath the house, so we did actually move one in the bathroom and one in, where did we move? One in the kitchen. And we added one in the kitchen and we added one in the living room. Yeah. So, um, but I do have to get two 4 by 12 registers to drop in place. And we gotta lay the vinyl in the bathroom, reset the toilet, trim it out, clean it up, clean the whole house, do some caulking, painting, Couple days, I'm gonna say three tops, three days, and I don't want more of it. Three days, and we're we're done here. We have to be, and we got some piece of gutter outside. I think that's it. I don't want to be in here any more than we have to. So I'm gonna give three days, and I, we've got to be out of here. So, and that's outside and everything, and I gotta cut the grass one more time. So, all right. Here we go. We're almost done with this rental. I'm feeling high.